If you want to start investing from your college life or you want to get a good idea about stock market, how to start up new business, etc., etc., then you should cover this course completely. Watch these videos in complete details because this will give you an insight about how to start investing from college life or if you are in final year of your school life. Basically, if you want to become financially independent, then this course is for you. Okay, hey everyone, so, happy welcome happy. to the platform Dream Academy. So, as we announced in the video, we will take some new courses like finance, AWS, Twitter, video editing, Java, C++, AI, ML, Python, and Python. So, let's start our first video of this course. Ka video hai, and the video will be on finance. And it will be, uh, the topics of finance will be covered by Uttaran Nayak, who is an expander and is currently studying in NIT Bhopal. He is also a certified scholar from uh, National Institute of Securities and Market and he is doing two internships currently from uh, Goldman Sachs. So you can visit his LinkedIn profile to get a wider knowledge of all this. Basically, if you want to become financially independent, then this course is for you. Okay, so happy learning and watch the video till the end. I hope you will enjoy it. Hi everybody, this is Uttar Naik and welcome to Dream Academia. I am currently a student uh, pursuing my bachelor's degree from the National Institute of Technology Bhopal and uh, I have done my certifications in finance uh, from the National Institute of Securities Market. I will be your course instructor, your guide, your friend, your elder brother for this course uh, on personal finance which you will be learning here. So starting with a very common idea which we used to have since our childhood days is that uh, whenever our parents used to give us some money about like 20 rupees or 30 rupees uh, to buy some groceries or to buy some items uh, and we used to rush down and buy buy them and after that we are left with suppose a 5 rupees or 6 rupees change and our parents used to tell that uh, keep that money with yourself so what we used to do is that we used to keep that money in a particular piggy bank or a particular uh, find for a particular instrument which we used to have uh, like uh, for bengalis we call it as a bhar or uh, and in english it is called as a piggy bank so we used to keep our money there and uh, very securely we used to count like uh, if it is a, with, with locker piggy bank we used to count the number of coins which we have saved for a particular period of time. So that is where and that is the time from which the concept of saving have come into our heads and come into our minds. Our parents wanted to inculcate the habit of saving to us from the very beginning of our childhoods. As we are growing, so I'm assuming that uh, all the means maximum of the audiences of this channel fall under the age group of 16 to 25 years. So as we grow older and like as we as we are like in class 10, 11, 12, first year, second year, this is the time when we like become more independent and we become more free. This is also the time when we don't have so much money with ourselves. Our parents pay the basic pocket money for us, but always there is a want inside us that I want to buy this small thing or I want to buy this football, I want to buy this cosmetic and so on. So there is always this want uh, that I want to buy this, but I don't have this money. So what we do is that like what we do like as a young generation student is, like, is that uh, maximum of our like money goes into like some, some are pay, paying their rents, some actually like having some uh, evening parties with their friends. So maximum of our money are actually gone after the end of the month. And that is where the regret comes within us that I could have saved some money for like uh, purchasing this or I could have saved money for like I wanted to give this to someone else, like give this to uh, my mother. Always remember this fact that the idea or the hunger for the saving comes in when you associate it with a particular goal. Always like when you want to purchase a football or suppose when you want to purchase a new phone, a new gadget or a gift, you will always associate that you, you are able to save more faster and you are able, able to save more efficiently. Why is it that? Because this, this is actually a psychology of money. When you, when you actually uh, associate uh, money with a particular goal, you tend to save more. I am not telling you to save all of your money which you are getting. But at least there is a concept and there is a rule known as a 50-30-20 rule. Which means that out of the 100 rupees, suppose you are getting 100 rupees as your pocket money. So out of the 100 rupees, you are to spend the 50 rupees. So out of the 100 rupees, 50 rupees you are going to spend for all of your needs. Like your immediate needs. Suppose you are a college going student and like you have to give your bus fare or suppose you have to give your cab fare and or suppose metro fare or whatever like you have to go these are all of your needs which you need to pay 
30 percent of your money or 30 rupees will go for all of your wants what does this wants mean this is the place where the i want to buy this football i want to buy this cosmetic i want to buy this phone all of this comes in this 30 percent and the rest 20 rupees will go into saving so where can i actually save my money this is one of the most uh, like commonly asked questions to me so firstly when you are starting your savings journey after like you you are now in your class 10th 11th 12th or you are in your first year in college the first advice which i want to give you is that open a bank account with your name you should be the sole holder of that bank account and nowadays many bank accounts are possible like many bank accounts are like available even nowadays many neo banks have come in like i can give you some examples like jupiter junio uh, then you have uh, bank of baroda if you want to go with the conventional forms then you have bank of baroda state bank of india and many are giving like zero balance accounts out there for students the the, the more the, like the the basic necessities which you will have need to have is what you need to have a pan card and aadhar card and like uh, your aadhar card should be linked with your mobile number these are the basic requirements which you need to have for opening a bank account so what does a bank account actually guarantee you the a bank account actually guarantees you that you will get an interest on your savings what is an interest i am just going to tell you in a few minutes apart from that you will get a security when the your money is with a bank you have you have your money secured that anything happens like even if the government falls the next day your money will be secured with the bank account even if you if, if it is a public bank then of course your money will be secured with the bank account even if it is a private bank like most of the cases like the private banks also like even if you take the 99% of the cases the private banks are actually very safe apart from that now coming to the question of what is an interest let us understand that a bank actually pays you money for keeping your own money into a bank account have you heard about this like you are keeping your money into the banks for that the bank is paying you so how much actually the bank is paying you i am giving you a very easy example for every 100 rupees you spend a bank actually gives you 2 to 3 rupees per year so it just sounds very low right it just sounds very less but you should be very happy to know this that in the united states of america when a person wants to keep his or her money into the bank accounts he or she has to pay for that he or she has to pay to the bank to keep his or her money this is the main reason why like keeping a money keeping your money in banks is really important and uh, another concept which i want to brush uh, over to all of you before ending this talk is inflation so let us understand what is inflation in absolute layman's term uh, suppose you buy a cadbury celebration today for your best friend worth rupees 100 rupees the cadbury celebration costed you 100 rupees same you go to the shop the next year as well to buy the same cadbury celebrations for your friend may, maybe it, it is his or her birthday and you get to see that the price of the cadbury celebration has risen to 107 rupees you must have asked the shopkeeper that why is there a rise in the prices of the cadbury celebration one year back only i brought this cadbury celebration for rupees 100 rupees now now the shopkeeper is telling you that the price of this pro the price of this celebration has risen so you are just scratching your head and you are just thinking that what what is this what what is the shopkeeper actually meaning why will the price of this cadbury celebration rise i brought it the same the previous year so this is the effect of inflation inflation is nothing but the rise in the prices of goods and commodities over a period of time and this time is generally taken as yearly time currently the inflation rate of india is going at 6.5 to 7 percent per annum which means that if today you get one single product for rupees 100 rupees for for rupees 100 then the next year you will get the same product for 107 rupees many companies are actually more clever than us what they do is that they don't increase the price of the goods but rather than that they decrease the quantity of the goods and keep the same price you may have seen maggi kurkure bingo lace all having the same price 10 rupees for maggi it's 12 rupees years after years but you will actually see the difference when you see in the back and you see the quantity 
you will see that as the years are going as the years are changing and the years are uh, passing on the quantity of all these products is actually coming down this is the effect of inflation and to basically to help yourself to help yourself from this silent killer and basically to help yourself from inflation inflation is also known as a silent killer so you need to keep your money in banks primarily primarily you should keep your money in banks and then as the lectures uh, as the lectures proceed i will tell you many more investment options which are actually very beneficial for you to keep that's it for today thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this if you have any of your doubts then please leave your doubts below in the comment section i will be very happy to answer thanks a lot for your patient hearing this is uttaran naik signing off